video, I get to spend a day with a princess mom and a CEO mom and decide which one I want to adopt me. Ugh, I can't believe my parents gave me up for adoption just because they want to travel Roblox together. Why couldn't they take me? Ugh, so not cool. Just abandoning me like that? Can I leave? Um, pardon me? Can I leave this place? No, or else you'll be in big trouble. Fine. Ugh. This is literally the absolute worst. Well, she'll never be able to find me in here. Later that same evening. Why, hello? Is there anybody working at this very moment? Or shall I get in touch with the guards? Oh, I am so sorry, miss. I was just on lunch break. How can I help you? Well, if you were any bit intelligent, you would surely presume that I would be in this establishment looking for a child. Oh, yes, you most certainly can assist me unless you're incapable of that task. Ugh, another crazy. Yes, I most certainly can assist you. Wonderful. I am looking for a blonde girl. Yes, we have one of those. I'll be back in just a moment. Meanwhile. Ugh, this sucks. Ah! What the heck? How did you find me? This is like a super secret spy. I was a kid here long, long ago. Lonely and scared because no one wanted to adopt me. I know all about every single hiding spot here. I practically invented them. There's more? Who knows? You've got to tell me. Why don't we go downstairs? I have someone interested in adopting you and she's a literal princess mom. A princess? <laughs> now come on. Stop messing about. Moments later. Whoa, you're like a real life Princess, that is so cool. Not bad. I mean, she's got potential, but do you have anything better? I can settle if the hair color is a bit different. Kenzie is the only child that we have. Well, it shall do then. In other words, I will most certainly have to make this work. Harsh. Excuse me, but I have a very a limited amount of time I can spend in here because, you know me, I have boss babe things to do, like be the greatest CEO in Brookhaven. But Anyways, I am very much looking to adopt a young girl who I can turn into my CEO daughter. Well, if only you had come moments earlier, I really am saddened to inform you, but this is the last child and she is already spoken for. Well, that can't be. Adoption lady, fix this at once. I am afraid that she cannot do that. Oh yes, yeah, she most certainly can. I am looking for my latest project. And that project is adopting a homeless girl from the adoption center and turning her into a business boss lady that will one day be a CEO mom just like me. Well, ladies, it looks like there is only one way to solve this and adoption off. Mackenzie will decide who she will live with after spending time with the both of you. The princess mom gets to go first because, well, she was here first. Good, because first things first, we're fixing this so-called look of yours. This look will not stand in my family. We are of royalty, Mackenzie. <laughs> option for a princess and that would be the princess cut now excuse me i don't think i've ever heard of something like that before uh what's it look like must i really explain this simple but complicated hairstyle to you yes well very well then three hours later this looks bougie you killed it mrs hair salon lady ma'am you're the best why thank you darling this is not allowed but you suggested this hairstyle yes you are correct about that one specific detail, but you lack the understanding to know I am not speaking of that matter. What do you mean? Your choice of words is unbefitting of a princess, and there will be no exceptions. Now it's time to get out of those disgusting pieces of fabric you call clothing. A few moments later. This is all yours? Whoa, I'm gonna be living in a mansion. Oh my god, this is insane. This is the greatest day of my life. Mackenzie! Yes? That is no way for a princess to act. Now I suggest you stop at once. Princesses do not jump around and engage in silly behavior that makes them look like a buffoon. I'm sorry. Good. Now let's change you out of those hideous pieces of fabric. Moments later. What are you waiting for? Well, which should I try on first? In order. Now run along and come out for each one you can change into. I need to see which looks best. Okay. We don't have the rest of our lives, so make some hurry out of it and put some jump in your step, Missy. A few moments later. Okay, what do you think about this one? Awful. Next. Ugh, I've got a feeling this is gonna be a long day. Moments later. Alright, house. I hate it. Okay. A few moments later. Let me guess. 
You hate this one too? I am not even going to dignify that one with a response. Do you have any like pink? Pink is kind of my favorite color. I don't care what your favorite color is. Uh, okay. One eternity later. Is there a reason you are taking your sweet time in there? It's just a little hard to get this one on. Well, hurry up. We don't have all day. Is the last one to try on, so if it doesn't work, we'll have to go spend hours shopping. Right, it's on. That most certainly is the one. You think so? I wouldn't be standing here if I didn't think so. Awesome. Now I will meet you downstairs for dinner. Well, that makes one of us because this dress is awful. Wait, Princess Mom? Yes? Ah, you startled me. What is it? Oh, I was just wondering if my best friend could come over. That will be a swell idea. It will be a good opportunity to see who you associate yourself with. A few moments later. <gasps> Sky! Early? Is that you? You look so different. Like a princess. I know. This is so crazy, girly. You're like a real life princess. My bestie in the whole wide world is a real life princess. I know, right? Can you like actually believe it? Well, this is quite the ideal friend, Mackenzie. Hi, Mrs. Princess Mom. I'm Skye. I think it's time for your friend to leave, Mackenzie. But she just got here. We need to go and do some more princess stuff around Brookhaven. Cool, can I come? I can totally help out. No. Oh, okay. But say goodbye to your friend, Mackenzie. We don't have time to dilly-dally. Bye, Skye. See you later, girly. Five minutes later. You are forbidden from seeing Skye. I don't like her. Why? But she's my best friend. I don't care. You can make a new best friend tonight. Oh, okay. A few moments later. Uh, do we have to be here? What do you think? Uh, okay, fine. Look who it is. I didn't even think you'd be allowed in events like this since you're such a loser. What do you want, Ashley? To make fun of you, obviously. Don't be so stupid. Stupid, Mackenzie. So do I have the pleasure of meeting? I absolutely, positively adore your outfit, young princess. You're too kind. I wish my mom would come to events like these. I mean, she is such a loser. Well, too bad I don't have a daughter like you. Yeah, being Mackenzie's mom must really suck. Well, technically, I'm not her mom. Just deciding if I want to adopt her. Later that night. That Ashley girl is just so spectacular. I adore her. You should make friends with her at once, Mackenzie. She reminds me of myself when I was young. Oh, to be young again. Great. Get in. Wait, what? My mom told me not to get in cars with strangers. I am CEO mom's driver. Now get in. Uh, okay. Moments later. Uh, why are we stopping here? Because this is CEO mom's house. Now get out. She's waiting for you and has a busy day. Um, hello? Is anybody in here? Mackenzie, my newest project. Now, are you ready to become a successful and independent woman? Uh, sure, I guess. I need a little bit more flair than that, Mackenzie. I'm just a little bit confused. Why is that? Well, you're supposed to be, like, super rich, and you kind of live in, like, a small house. Why would I need a big house? That just creates bigger problems. First lesson, less is more. And you just need enough space for the essentials. I see. Your new look is really bugging me. It's time to change it ASAP. Oh, thank you. Don't thank me yet. One hour later. No time to look all dolled up. You're a CEO daughter now. I'm going to teach you how to be successful. No more slacking or being lazy. Your life changes today. Can I see my friend later? <laughs> Friends? <laughs> you don't have time for friends anymore. Ugh, why do these things always happen to me? Moments later. Time to start the day off right. I love Starbucks. It's my favorite. Good, because coffee is the key to being a boss babe and getting all of your work done. Hey, can I get a... Two black coffees, no sugar. Right away, ma'am, right away. What? That sounds disgusting. Why can't we get, like, frappuccinos? Well, because that's junk, and that's bad for you. You need to start fueling your body with good things, and fraps are not part of that. Remember, if you're ever questioning something, just ask, what would a boss babe do? A boss babe would totally order a frap, and that's the whole point. <sighs> Don't care. Slam your coffee au naturel, and let's get to it. Oh, and no phones either. They are not but distractions. Ugh, fine. A few moments later. Whoa, you have an apartment too? I'm gonna say this one time and one time only, Missy. Do not touch anything.
anything. This is a business apartment for business deals. Whoa, it is so cool in here. Now, my business partners are gonna be here any moment. So shut up and pay attention. Yeah, okay. Oh, she is just way too much. First, you non-stop blabber. Now you do exactly what I tell you not to do. Mackenzie, there is literally no hope for you. I hope you know that. <laughs> Run away! You weren't cut out for this life anyways! Moments later. I wish my parents would just come home. Now I'm forced to pick the princess mom. Ugh, and she's just so in love with Ashley too. Oh, great. And now the door's locked too? The next day. <sighs> what on earth happened? Why are you not with CEO mom? Huh? What? Oh, she was literally the worst. Not that the princess mom was much better, but still, just like terrible. Fair point. She did seem like a bit much. Later that same evening. So, when is she coming? I have no clue. She hasn't answered at all. I have arrived. Uh, what's going on? Awkward. When it comes to my attention that I would much rather adopt Ashley than you, she's exactly what I am looking for. Wait, she wasn't even up for adoption. Yeah, but let's be real and no one wants a loser. Be real. I love a good be real of you crying and me smiling. Just a great juxtaposition. Well, back to the drawing board, I guess.